Welcome to Centurus' video training series. Today, we will be showing you how to make a dimensional time prompt in IBM Cognos Report Studio. Centurus offers a full curriculum of Cognos courses, all led by IBM certified experts with extensive field experience outside the classroom. This video highlights the expertise of our instructors and is a small segment of a more comprehensive recording which is available for free on the Centurus website. Let's get started. Uh, this is a dimensional technique. So I'm going to use a power cube as the source, but uh, this is, again, another question that I had with a client. And I've actually had this question uh, multiple times and thought about different ways to resolve it. Uh, it's a good demo because it, it really shows a lot of the dimensional functions um, using you know, proper dimensional authoring techniques to accomplish uh, this date range prompting for a date and then you know kind of implementing the date range. So the objective here is that we want to prompt the user to select a month. And based off of that month we want the report to show all of the months that are from that month forward in the cube. And so we're going to look at how to appropriately define a prompt in a dimensional report We'll also then look at how to use some of the common, commonly used report uh, functions for, for dimensional expressions to get our result. And then the final piece here is that we want to be able to drill through from this report to a more detailed target report that's going to be defined within Query Studio. I'm going to do this in stages. This is an approach that I use that I think is most helpful is to kind of create these things in stages. So the end result that I'm going to place on my cross tab is going to be a few steps down the road. So the first thing I want is the thing that prompts for a month. And so the most common and I think best practice here for doing this is for the months. Actually what I want is to prompt for a month. And so the syntax for query items or data items that prompt for month is you typically are going to use your level. You use the dash greater than syntax. And I know it's a little strange, but this is your dimensional uh, expression here that's a little different from our relational types of expressions. And then the parameter is just the same. I'll just call this start month. This is the month that will be the earliest month. So I want. This is just a prompt that will ask the user to select a month, and then will this data item will be that month. And so I'm going to go ahead and rename it Start Month. Okay, and I will end up using this in the display, but again, I want to stage the next few pieces of this. So the next thing that I thought about was, well, it's real easy for me to use some of these, what they call. Um, family functions and hierarchical functions, relative functions, and one of them is called periods to date. Now, periods to date does kind of the opposite of what I want. This will allow me to define something that will return all the months in the cube up until the uh, start month. So I'm going to use start month as the argument here. So if I use periods to date, I go back to my cube and I look at my time hierarchy, I say, I want everything that's in this level. The hierarchies always have a top level kind of aggregate member. And so the context that I want is all time. So I'm going to use this as my context and then comma start month as the reference point. This will return all of the months prior to the start month. So again, not what I want in this case because I want all the months after, but you'll see that I'm using this as a component to get to where I want to be. So this is what I'm just going to call this previous months. These are all the previous months. Now to get the items that are other than the previous month, so all the months after, I'm going to go ahead and use a another dimensional function that's fairly common is called accept. And so the accept function basically wants two arguments. It says give me a population. So I'm going to say get the set 
that I want as my population is all months. So the month level is also referred to as a level set, so it can be used as the set argument. Give me <clears throat> all the months as my population. What I want are the exceptions, the things that are not also in previous months. So again, if I take all the months in the cube and I say, give me everything that's not in the previous month's group, I get all the months that are after, right? And so, not being terribly creative, I'm just going to call this later months. And so now I have my start month, I have my later months. And so we go back to my page, and I can simply drop these items into the column. So the start month will be the first position, and then the later months will be stacked afterwards. So I'm going to run that. I'm going to let it use just the system-generated month pick list. Um, again, these months labels and captions are strings, so if I pick January 2007, what I'm expecting to get is January 07 plus all the months after that that are in the queue. And so there's my start month, and then here are all of my later months that are non-zero or non-missing. We hope you enjoyed this Cognos training tip. Centurus offers a full range of Cognos training solutions. Everything from regularly scheduled online courses to one-on-one -on -one mentoring. For more information on expert-led Cognos training, contact Centurus.